As the veil of fame reveals the lavish lifestyle of hip-hop phenomenon DaBaby, enthusiasts and critics alike are drawn to the seductive allure of his luxurious existence. From chart-topping hits to headline-making controversies, in this exclusive exploration, we delve into DaBaby's mysterious world, unraveling the layers of his lifestyle, dissecting the intricacies of his net worth, surprising in front of his property, admire his car collection and step foot inside the luxurious walls of his mansion. All the details you need are right in this video. Let's dive in now. Jonathan Lindale Kirk entered the world on December 22, 1991, in Cleveland, Ohio. His journey, however, swiftly took him to Charlotte, North Carolina, where he spent the formative years of his life. It was at the tender age of six that Kirk relocated, immersing himself in the vibrant cultural tapestry of Charlotte. The city would eventually become an integral part of his identity and artistic inspiration. Kirk traversed through the corridors of Vance High School, now known as Julius L. Chambers High School, from which he proudly graduated in 2010. Yet, his academic path diverged from the conventional trajectory expected by many. Despite embarking on a journey to the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, Kirk found himself veering away from the traditional pursuit of higher education. His tenure at the university spanned merely two years, as he candidly confessed to attending college primarily to appease his parents' aspirations rather than his own. Musically, DeBaby's upbringing bore the indelible imprint of iconic artists such as Eminem, 50 Cent, and Lil Wayne, whose rhythms and rhymes echoed through the halls of his home. With two older brothers as companions in his musical odyssey, Kirk's early exposure to the sounds of these legends laid the foundation for his own burgeoning artistry. In 2015, a humble beginning as Baby Jesus began a musical journey that would soon lead him to stardom. It all started with the release of his nonfiction mixtape, which marked the genesis of what would become a remarkable career. With his unique style and charismatic presence, he quickly gained attention when he released two more mixtapes in the same year, So Despectful, and The Ten Minute Mixtape. The following year, in 2016, he continued to build his repertoire with the releases of God's Work and God's Work Resurrected, showcasing his evolving talent and dedication to his craft. However, it was in 2017 that DaBaby, as he came to be known, truly made waves in the music scene. DaBaby's prolific output in 2017, comprising six mixtapes including Baby Talk, Series, Billion Dollar Baby, and Back on My Baby Jesus Shit, caught the attention of Arnold Taylor, president of South Coast Music Group, during one of his electrifying performances in local North Carolina clubs. Recognizing his potential, South Coast Music Group signed DaBaby, propelling him into a new realm of opportunities. In a strategic move that would further elevate his career, DaBaby inked a distribution deal with Rock Nation, the entertainment powerhouse founded by Jay-Z, to release his 2018 mixtape, Blank Blank. The mixtape garnered widespread acclaim, igniting a fierce bidding war among major record labels vying to collaborate with the rising star. Ultimately, DaBaby secured a lucrative seven-figure deal with Interscope Records, a testament to his growing influence and commercial viability. His debut studio album, Baby on Baby, unleashed on March 1, 2019, solidified his status as a force to be reckoned with in the hip-hop landscape. Featuring hit singles like, Suge, and, Baby Sitter, with Offset, Baby on Baby, resonated with audiences worldwide, propelling DaBaby into the spotlight. The infectious rhythm and captivating lyrics of, Suge, propelled it to number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 3 on the Hot R&B, Hip Hop Songs chart, earning DaBaby two Grammy nominations and cementing his place as one of hip hop's most promising talents. DaBaby has been making waves since the release of his sophomore album, Kirk, on September 27, 2019. The album showcased his exceptional talent and set a new standard in the hip hop scene. With hit singles like Intro, Bop, and Vibes, which achieved platinum or higher certifications, DaBaby solidified his status as a force to be reckoned with in the rap game. In the same year, DaBaby made history by having an astounding 22 singles chart on the prestigious Billboard Hot 100, a feat unmatched by any other artist in 2019. This remarkable achievement underscored his unmatched skill and popularity among music enthusiasts worldwide. Continuing his upward trajectory, DaBaby dropped his third studio album, Blame It On Baby, on April 17, 2020. The album's lead single, Rockstar, 
featuring Roddy Rich, skyrocketed to the top of charts in a dozen countries. Not only did it achieve double platinum status in major markets like the US, the UK, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, but it also captivated audiences with its infectious beats and compelling lyrics. Despite his monumental success as a solo artist, DeBaby has also made significant contributions to the music industry through collaborations with various artists. From Megan Thee Stallion's chart-topping tracks, Cash Shit, and Cry Baby, to Lizzo's infectious, Truth Hurts, DeBaby Remix. DeBaby's versatility and ingenuity shine through in every collaboration. In November of the same year, DeBaby released the poignant EP, My Brother's Keeper, Long Live G, a heartfelt tribute to his late brother. Glenn, the project not only showcased his emotional depth as an artist but also resonated deeply with fans, who praised his sincerity and vulnerability. Undeterred by challenges and fueled by his passion for music, DeBaby continued to push boundaries and explore new creative avenues. In 2022, he unveiled his fourth studio album, Baby on Baby 2, much to the delight of his devoted fanbase. Additionally, he joined forces with Youngboy NBA to release a collaborative mixtape, further cementing his status as one of the most influential figures in contemporary hip-hop. With all this success, it's no surprise that he lives comfortably inside his lavish mansion. Mansion in North Carolina the Baby made headlines in 2019 not only for his chart-topping hits but also for his extravagant lifestyle and real estate choices. Unlike many of his counterparts in the music industry who flocked to the glitzy streets of Los Angeles, the Baby opted for a quieter setting, purchasing a lavish estate nestled in the rural charm of Troutman, North Carolina. The property, boasting a price tag of $2.2 million, stands as a testament to his success and unique taste. The Tuscan-style mansion, spanning just under nine acres of meticulously manicured grounds, commands attention with its imposing presence. Surrounded by modest one- and two-story homes, the baby's residence stands as a beacon of opulence in the neighborhood. The mansion itself sprawls over nearly 12,000 square feet, boasting five bedrooms and eight baths, and is adorned with high-end finishes and extravagant amenities. Inside the mansion, every detail speaks of luxury and sophistication, from the grand living and dining areas adorned with modern brick fireplaces and vaulted ceilings to the dream chef's kitchen outfitted with white marble countertops and top-of-the-line appliances, no expense has been spared in crafting the ultimate living space. The master suite, reminiscent of a luxurious apartment, features a mounted TV, a spacious lounge area, and a sprawling walk-in closet, complete with an ensuite bath fit for royalty. Beyond the confines of the mansion, the baby spared no expense in fortifying his fortress-like estate. The rapper's security measures, including the construction of a 10-foot-tall concrete wall and five guard stations, raised eyebrows among neighbors. The installation of stadium lighting in the backyard, along with plans for a football field and a full basketball court, further fueled speculation and garnered mixed reactions from the local community. Despite the grandeur of his estate, the baby's presence in the tranquil town of Troutman has not been without its challenges. With over 30 calls to his address since moving in, ranging from noise complaints to concerns about construction and security, the rapper's celebrity status has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the once quiet neighborhood. But dear viewers, the story continues as we take you to see the beauty of his shiny car collection now. Cars The baby stands out not only for his music but also for his impressive car collection. Among his prized possessions are three stunning Lamborghinis, each boasting power and style that epitomize his taste for the finer things in life. At the forefront of his collection is the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. This sleek masterpiece is propelled by a formidable 6-liter V12 turbocharged engine, boasting a jaw-dropping 730 horsepower and a peak torque of 690 Nm. With such power under the hood, the Aventador Roadster accelerates from 0 to 100 kmph in a mere 3 seconds, effortlessly cruising to a top speed of 350 kmph. Priced at a cool $460,000, this car embodies exclusivity and performance like no other. But the Aventador isn't DeBaby's only prized possession. He also owns the Lamborghini Huracan Spider, a stunning marvel equipped with a 5-liter V10 engine pumping out 630 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. This $250,000 beauty accelerates from 0 to 100 kmph in just 3 seconds, 
reaching a top speed of 325 kmph. It's a perfect blend of speed and style, reflecting DeBaby's discerning taste in automobiles. And let's not forget about the Lamborghini Urus, DeBaby's choice for the fastest SUV on the market. This powerhouse SUV, customized to match his distinctive style, houses a formidable 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine, delivering an impressive 641 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. Despite its size, the Urus sprints from 0 to 100 kmph in a mere 4 seconds, boasting a top speed of 305 kmph. Priced at $250,000, the Urus epitomizes opulence and performance, making it a symbol of DeBaby's lavish lifestyle. DeBaby's passion for luxury cars extends far beyond the Lamborghini realm, as his impressive collection boasts some of the most prestigious brands in the automotive world, including Mercedes, the Mercedes Maybach GLS 600, the pinnacle of sophistication and comfort. Priced at an eye-watering $200,000, this majestic SUV features a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine that produces a staggering 550 horsepower and 730 newton meters of torque. Its distinctive bounce feature adds a touch of luxury, making it an outstanding choice for those seeking both performance and sophistication. But DeBaby's Mercedes lineup doesn't stop there. He is also proud of the Maybach S650, a luxury sedan revered for its power and prestige. With a powerful 6-liter V12 biturbo engine that produces an impressive 630 horsepower and 1,000 newton meter of torque, this sedan exudes authority on the road. Its $340,000 price tag reflects its status as a symbol of automotive excellence, combining unparalleled performance with unparalleled luxury. In the SUV sector, DeBaby's collection reaches new heights with the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, hailed as the epitome of luxury and power. With a staggering price of $330,000, this majestic SUV is equipped with a 6-liter turbocharged V12 engine, producing a maximum capacity of 563 horsepower and maximum torque of 850 newton meters. It offers the perfect combination of luxury and performance, setting the standard for luxury SUVs around the world. Completing his illustrious collection is the Rolls-Royce Don, a convertible sedan that symbolizes luxury and sophistication. With a 6-liter turbocharged V12 engine with 563 horsepower and 820 newton meters of torque, this masterpiece attracts attention on the road. Priced at $360,000, the Dawn accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in a quick 5 seconds, capturing DeBaby's attention for luxury and style in every aspect of his life. These cars are really extremely luxurious, aren't they? Which car do you like the most? Please comment below. Business. Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment. Established in 2017 by the renowned rapper DeBaby, this American record label has swiftly made its mark in the industry. DeBaby, whose real name is Jonathan Lindale Kirk, envisioned a platform to nurture emerging talent and cultivate the next generation of superstars. Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment isn't just a label it's a vision for the future of hip-hop. With DeBaby at the helm, the label has already welcomed five promising artists into its fold, each bringing a unique flavor to the mix. From dynamic beats to compelling lyrics, the roster reflects DeBaby's commitment to diversity and innovation in music. In a recent interview, DeBaby revealed his ambitious plans for the label's future. I won't be rapping in five years I won't be rapping, he declared. I'll be creating other superstars. It's a bold statement that underscores his dedication to the long-term success of Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment. DeBaby sees himself not just as an artist but as a mentor and architect of talent, shaping the industry for years to come. Among the label's standout talents is Stunna 4 Vegas, often hailed as DeBaby's sidekick. With his infectious energy and magnetic stage presence, Stunna 4 Vegas embodies the spirit of Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment. Together, they're rewriting the rules of hip-hop and blazing a trail for others to follow. Philanthropy In December 2023, the renowned rapper DeBaby spread joy and warmth in his hometown of North Carolina by personally delivering gifts to children and families facing hardships. This act of kindness reflects his commitment to giving back to the community that shaped him. Notably, DeBaby's generosity extended beyond his hometown borders. In a heartwarming display of compassion, he gifted a man with $1,500 worth of candy outside Le Jardin restaurant in Hollywood. 
This gesture wasn't just about sweets it was about raising funds for charity, showcasing DeBaby's desire to make a positive impact wherever he goes. Witnesses recounted how DeBaby deposited the cash from the candy sale into a large blue box as he left the upscale restaurant. Demonstrating his humility and genuine concern for others, his actions serve as a reminder that generosity knows no bounds, transcending fame and fortune. Moreover, DeBaby's philanthropy reached new heights when he donated $1,000 to a woman living in her car with her young son. This selfless act provided much-needed support to a struggling mother, highlighting DeBaby's empathy and willingness to help those facing adversity. Through his charitable endeavors, DeBaby not only uplifts individuals in need but also inspires others to lend a helping hand. His contributions serve as a testament to the power of compassion and solidarity in building stronger, more resilient communities. Personal life. Family plays a significant role in DeBaby's life. He shares fatherhood with his ex-girlfriend Meem, who is the mother of his older daughter. Additionally, Meem has a son, Caleb, from a previous relationship, whom DeBaby regards as part of his family circle. Despite the complexities of his personal life, DeBaby has expressed a religious sentiment, stating that he feels blessed and protected by his faith in Christianity. In matters of romance, DeBaby's relationship with American rapper Danny Lay captured public attention in 2020. However, the couple's romance reached its conclusion by February 2021, marking a period of transition in DeBaby's personal life. However, DeBaby has faced legal challenges that have punctuated his career. In 2018, an altercation at a Walmart in Huntersville, North Carolina, resulted in the tragic death of 19-year-old Jalen Craig. DeBaby, then involved in the incident, asserted that his actions were in self-defense, leading to legal proceedings and a subsequent conviction for carrying a concealed firearm. Furthermore, DeBaby's encounters with the law extended to other incidents, including a robbery investigation in Miami in early 2020. Allegations surfaced that members of his entourage had assaulted a music promoter. This episode led to DeBaby's arrest, shedding light on the complexities of his public image and legal standing. In the realm of public performances, DeBaby's actions have sparked controversy. An incident at a concert in Tampa, Florida, in 2020, where he slapped a female fan, drew widespread condemnation. DeBaby later attributed his actions to feeling threatened by the fan's proximity and flash photography. This event, coupled with controversial remarks perceived as homophobic at Miami's Rolling Loud Festival in July 2021, resulted in cancelled appearances and severed partnerships with brands like Boohooman. Net worth. In January 2024, the renowned rapper DeBaby's financial status has been estimated to reach a staggering $5 million. Delving deeper into his earnings, records indicate an annual income of $500,000, with a monthly intake averaging around $45,000. DeBaby's journey to success has been punctuated by numerous accolades and nominations. His musical prowess has earned him a total of eight Grammy Award nominations, a feat that speaks volumes about his talent and influence. Among these nominations are coveted categories such as Best Rap Song and Best Rap Performance for his chart-topping track, Suge, in 2020. The recognition doesn't stop there. In 2020, DeBaby clinched three ASCAP Rhythm and Soul Music Awards, with notable wins including Top R&B, Hip Hop Song for Suge, along with victories for Baby Sitter and Cash Shit in the R&B, hip-hop songs category. His contributions to the music landscape have not gone unnoticed, with an impressive tally of 11 BET Award nominations. In 2020, he was crowned Best Male Hip-Hop Artist, further solidifying his status as a prominent figure in the hip-hop realm. DeBaby's impact extends beyond award ceremonies, as evidenced by his remarkable achievements at the Billboard Music Awards. In 2021, he garnered eight nominations, with his hit single, Rockstar, clinching the titles for top rap song and most streamed song, affirming his ability to resonate with audiences worldwide. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.